Two toys are sold at rupees 504 each. One toy brings the dealer a gain of 12% and other a loss of 4%. By selling both the toys, his profit or loss percent is. Here, one brings 12% profit. Profit means plus, 12% means 12 by 100. 4 goes 3 times in 12, 4 goes 25 times in 100. Plus 3 by 25 means 25 part is the cost price, 25 plus 3, 28 part is the selling price. Now selling price is rupees 504. 25 into 20 is 500. So here 28 goes 1 times in 50, remaining is 22. 224 by 28. Here, unit digit is 4. So, 28 into 8 is 224. Now, 1 part is 18 means 25 part is the cost price here. So, 25 into 18. 25 into 10 is equal to 250. 25 into 8 is equal to 200. So, total 450. So, 25 part is 450. This is the cost price. First cost price. Now, other causes a loss of 4 percentage. 4 percentage loss means loss means negative. 4 percentage means 4 by 100. So 4 goes 25 times in 100. Minus 1 by 25 means 25 part is the cost price and 25 minus 1, 24 part is the selling price. Now selling price is rupees 504. 24 goes 2 times in 50. Remaining is 2, 24. And 24 one time. Now 1 part is 21 means 25 part is 25 into 20 is 500. 25 into 1 is 25. So 525. So this is the cost to price 2. CP2. This is CP1. Now CP1 plus CP2 is equal to total cost to price. Total cost to price is equal to 450 plus 525 which is equal to 975 and total selling price total selling price which is equal to 504 into 2 that is 1008 now here sell price is greater than cost price so profit is generated and difference between sell price and cost price is 33 rupees this 33 rupees is generated from this cost price 975 rupees now, 100% of 975 is 975, 10% is 97.5, 1% is 9.75, that is nearly 10. So, if I take 4%, 9 into 4, 36, 4% is greater than 33 rupees. And if I take 3%, 9 into 3 is 27, so 3% is less than 33 rupees. Which means this 33 rupees is between this 4 percentage and 3 percentage. So your answer is option A. Here this question can be solved using formula method. That is when selling price is equal. Here in this case selling price is equal for two items. So in that case profit or loss is equal to 100 into A plus B plus 2AB divided by 200 plus A plus B. Here A and B are profit or loss. You should use plus and minus sign for profit and loss. That is when there is profit you should use plus sign and when there is loss you should use negative sign. Now profit or loss is equal to 100 into profit is plus 12 loss is minus 4. So plus 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. Plus 2AB is equal to 2 into 48 divided by 200 plus A plus B is 8 which is equal to 3.5 by 13. So option A is your answer.